Oh, there it is. Found it? Yep. So you follow the camera. What? Yeah, I'm zooming in. Fucking drone. So, basically, someone is... Spying on us. With a fucking drone. We need to get our drone. And crash into that motherfucker. Where's it at? It's over there. Can you see it on the camera? It's a very tiny. It's really hard to see it. But I mean... It's gone. It's over there. It's gone down a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. Can you see it on camera? It's uh, like a tiny dot. He'll come down. Yes. You zoomed all the way in? Yep. I can't zoom anymore. So we have a, a fucking drone helicopter that's flying above our property. And you right. can see it hovering right there. And, and you can hear it. It's like a bunch of bees. I don't know piece. if it has to do with us or not, but uh, I think I'm going to shoot that motherfucker down. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to fucking shoot it and fucking destroy it. So when it gets a little closer, because I'm not that good at aim. <laughs> <laughs> can hear that goddamn thing. Can you see the car up there? What? On the... Over there? Yeah. I think so. I saw it earlier. I gotta put my fucking... What fucking, the hell? It's just fucking kicking it. Should I shoot it with the fucking... Yeah. Hell yeah. What the fuck? What? Yeah. Shoot it. Alright. Check this shit out. Oh, that's like next level <laughs> shit. Yeah, this is uh That's awesome. Yeah, yeah hell yeah, shoot it, babes. This motherfucker breaks breaks windows, put in some cars or something. It's this just so awesome. A single fuck you <laughs> but if I hit the helicopter it'll fucking it'll it'll that thing will be done. Be right? Toast. Looks like it's coming closer to us. I can hear that thing. Where is it? Sounds like there's another one. I think oh, it's over there, babe! It's up there! Where? It's up there! It's uh, there! Where is it? There! Where? Babe, there! It's coming down on us! I babe, can't even see it. Here! Over there! Babe, here! <laughs> I can't see shit! Are you seriously? Over there! I can't see shit! Babe, babe, it's over there! It's coming down on us! I know, I can't see it! <laughs> it's over there! I'm shoot, but I can't see babe, it! Babe, it's not there! It's here! Look! Oh, there Yeah! <laughs> He's probably looking right at us, right? Yeah! Okay, ready? Yeah! Ready? Yeah! Film, baby, ready? Shut up, God damn it! Do you want me to do it? What's that music? Oh, it's my phone. It's looking at us. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it. It's going down. Where's that? Do you want me to do it? It's Where's going that? down. It's over there. It's going. It's it's now below the fence. Oh yeah, I know. Cause if I fuck, I can't hit that. That motherfucker is so hard to hit. Mm. Do you want to try it? Well, if it gets closer, I'm not that good at aim with this fucking slingshot or the gun. What the fuck? So there was two, right? There was a two, right? No, this one. This is the same one. It went all the way up to the mountains oh. and came down. It came down basically from the from the all the way up there and you know went up and then up to the sky and then all the way down like above us. Fucking idiot. I wanna go there and just kill that son of a bitch. You know? Like what the fuck? Just go somewhere else. Seriously? How annoying. It is motherfucking shake time. God damn it. And I'm almost fucking out of this shit. <laughs> Stuff goes fast, right? And now I'm only eating, I'm eating two scoops a day. Those are the only carbs I get is two scoops, two big ass scoops. So it's roughly 40 grams of carbs. There we go. Two scoops. And... Of course, motherfucking egg whites. Approximately uh, 10 to 12 egg whites. I ain't gonna measure that shit. You guys know that. 
all these years eating egg whites, I think I can eyeball that shit. All right. So, I don't know if you guys heard, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but we're going to be coming out with a new real food made with rice. And the flavor is, it's along the lines of chocolate pudding, but that's not the final name. We're still trying to figure out the final name. Where uh, You guys give me your input what you think, but you know, since I've been eating the goddamn motherfucking Cocoa Pebbles, and it is going to be a Cocoa flavor, so maybe something along the lines of Cocoa Pebbles, we won't get in trouble. So, uh, but right now we're, we're finalizing the name. We have like five different possibilities for the name of that real food product, but it's going to be some good ass shit because I tried it when I was in Florida for the Europa and I had four scoops. So 80 grams of carbs and I drank it and it was like, I drank nothing. Like it's crazy because the rice, I don't know what it is, but it just feels like you have nothing in your stomach. You know, this is actually pretty filling. I mean, it fills you up. You can you can feel like you ate carbs. I ate, I ate the rice, 80 grams of carbs, and I felt nothing. So it's like people that are trying to gain weight, you put size on, and add calories to their diet. You know, you can add rice, carbs, clean carbs to your diet, um, you know, an extra 400 grams of carbs and not even know it, not even realize you're doing it. So it's, it's, a, pretty, it's a pretty awesome product. So for this diet, it's not going to do me much good, but you know, I can't wait because it tastes good. So I have a little variety because right now this is all I can have is the, the plain fucking sweet potato yams, you know, the, nothing to put in it. I could put peanut butter, but I think that'd be kind of productive because I just want to get glycogen on my muscles. I don't need any fat. That'll slow down, you know, the shuttle of the glycogen and uh, there's no use for it. So at least that's my theory. So uh, I can't wait to get the rice just to fucking have, you know, some chocolate one day, sweet potato the next. But people that are still trying to put size on, that shit is the shit. It's fucking awesome. I mean, it's crazy. But you can sit and, you know, that's the thing is being able to get all those calories in. You know, that's where people have the problem. And that's where people fail on the bigger by the day. I don't want to say they fail because a lot of people put on 20, 30, 40 pounds. But they didn't put on 39 like I did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and it's the food. It's all the food, you know. All right, I got to find a goddamn container, baby. Where's the container at? They're all dirty, right? Cause in I your back. Wash it. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Longest hallway. Right. In the world. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah. I always ask myself why the two of us need a 5,000 square foot house. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm walking up and down the house, up and down the stairs, mm -hmm. I ask myself, why? Why? Right? More why, exercise. Why not a two bedroom, two bath? More exercise. <laughs> no. Right. The next place, right? Yep. The next place will get a smaller place. Right. On the motherfucking beach. With the fucking private pool and possibly a private fucking beach. That's only ours. Right. Perfect. In Florida, goddammit. Yeah. Where you can actually go on the goddamn water and enjoy <laughs> the fucking ocean. Right. Where China can go on the fucking water and enjoy the ocean. Yeah. And it won't cost us fucking $20,000 a month <laughs> to live there. It'll right. cost us only maybe, what, five or 6000 possibly. In Florida, that shit's cheap as hell. Yeah. So, that's the plan, goddammit. Perfect plan. Oh, shit. Can't leave anything in hell there. Hell no, I only get 40 grams, goddammit. I need every fucking nook and cranny. 
You ever heard that? Nook and cranny? You no. Ever heard that? No. <laughs> What's that? I don't know where it came from. <laughs> it's a old ass expression. I think my grandma used to use it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's from English muffins. Nook and crannies. Oh, yum. Muffin. <laughs> what is this? These are old uh, pre workouts. Did you make, you made us pre workouts, right? Uh, yeah. Did you put stuff in them? I don't know. It's just water. It's just water? Okay. Yeah. So, cold water. So, what should I do? Is it really cold? Yeah, it's in the freezer. Should I use that? Yes, yeah, one. There's only one? It's there down there in the... No, I know, I see it, but there's only one? No, two, sorry. This is yours. Uh, where's yours? Here. Oh, okay. Try is it, it really cold or...? Yeah, look. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh. All right, then... I think I'm gonna go with the fucking uh, mango pineapple. I haven't had that forever. I had that, yes. That's like okay. the best. I think that's like probably one of the best tasting flavors we have. Oh shit, you froze the goddamn lid off, Dave. Uh -oh. ah. <laughs> Whoopsie! Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing! I'm gonna have to edit this shit out, huh? <laughs> Jeez! Oh, look at that, goddammit! I can open lids! <laughs> wow. Okay. It's ice I cold, right? It's ice cold, right? Lid. Yeah, it's ice cold. Good. Okay, two scoops. And. Sorry, I can't get a whole scoop. <laughs> and three scoops. And, and four scoops. And four. Four scoops. And five scoops. And, <laughs> and five scoops, goddammit. Because this is just kill it. Right. You know? It's only killing. It's only killing. <laughs> and also, um, it was we used four scoops of. Well, also, 50 I, 50. Never, I never drink it all. Right. I mean, I never even come close to drinking it all. Right. I drink like a quarter. So, right. you know, if there's five scoops, I'm probably only really going to drink at right. the most two. Right. I mean, look at these. These are fucking used ones right here. These containers. Like, like this. No, these two right here. These are yeah. used. Yeah. So look, like really, <laughs> like I drink like. Hardly anything. Right. Fucking lightweight over here. <laughs> All right. So, you ready, baby? Yeah. Get the fuck on out of here. I need a. I need to I make need mine. My mentality. I need my mentality. I already took mine. You did? Yep. Feeling that? Yep. Let me take. Ten. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Think yeah. No mentality. Yep. Mentality, you took 10? Yeah. You didn't take 10. Yeah. So why would you take 10? I took five this morning and five now. Oh my God, <laughs> you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> well, you take three Adderall, so. Yeah. I guess that's fucking, I only <laughs> take one Adderall, so. I guess that's probably equivalent, right? <laughs> yep. So I'm taking four. I was only going to take three, so you said you took 10. <laughs> then I was like, well, fuck it, I can take at least four of them. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. People are people. People are not even gonna believe that. They're really gonna. They're not even. They're gonna be like, no way. There's no way she takes. Yeah, people believe me. She's out of her fucking mind. <laughs> if you only knew. I'm taking four. There's mine's on, mine's on film. God damn it. <laughs> I'll take ten tomorrow <laughs> on film. That's 5150. Ooh. I can tell. I can tell the difference. Right. Well, time to pick out some goddamn shoes for the day. So I'm wearing white, which as you guys know, I never wear white. Why? Because unlike a lot of people, um conscious con con conscious <laughs> of how my body looks. So when my waist is thick, I don't accentuate that with a white fucking shirt. So now that my waist is getting smaller, I can wear white and feel comfortable. Otherwise, I wear a black slimming effect. You know what I'm saying? So, shoes. I got a white, oh, white with green. Ho oh, ho. White with green. Well, fuck, that makes it pretty fucking easy, huh? These are just fucking screaming at me, right? right. White with green. Bam. Check out the watch. Tell me that's not a sick ass fucking watch. Big as fuck, heavy as fuck. So, that's it, goddammit. Oh, look at those new orange ones staring at me. <laughs> Ooh. 
Those are wild as fuck, man. I don't know if I ever even wear those fucking things. <laughs> really? Now that I look at them, they're crazy as fuck. They're cool. But they're definitely different, goddammit. <laughs> Alright, let's get on out of here. Action. We are on our way to the gym. Woo! God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the cracks me up because I didn't even know that I say shit like that until I actually did these videos and people pointed that shit out. Right. I remember I went to my first expo and everyone's like, God damn it! And You're like, what? I'm like, what are they fucking, why do people keep saying it to me? Fuck. <laughs> they're like, right, babe? Right, babe? And I'm like, I didn't get it. Right. What the fuck? What was the other one? Good fucking morning. Mm -hmm. And then they laugh, and I'm like, what the fuck's so funny about that? <laughs> <laughs> and then after a while, it finally hit me. I'm like, oh, shit, that's what I say in the videos. I'm yeah. Like, fuck. Because I, mean, I didn't even know I say that shit. <laughs> you know, you, you do shit, and you're not even aware of it. Right. And when I always said, yep, and I didn't even know <laughs> until people were like, yep. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's some pretty fucking lame-ass fucking habits, right? What was the one that... I did in the video, but I kept, I kept saying the same thing over and over again. So I'm pointing right. Out. I, I'm I, right. I think you said right. You said something in that right. Oh, um, I think so. I don't know. All I know or is... Or what? What's something once else? Once they pointed that shit out and I watched it, I was like, oh my God, I look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and I had no idea. So, thanks for pointing that shit out. <laughs> so at least I can be aware of it. So at least I can be aware of looking like an idiot. <laughs> uh, so we're on our way to the gym, Gold's North Hollywood. Yeah. And, uh, I'm wearing white, goddammit. I feel good. Yeah, you look good, baby. <laughs> I haven't worn white in a long ass time. White looks really good on you. I, I bring. I always bring a white tank top with me uh -huh. to every expo. It's just you know, it's just a given. You throw right. it. You know, a tank top of every color, right? Right. And I get a little brave and I put the tank top on. Like, oh, I think I could wear white. Put that shit on. I'm like, ah, uh, no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> My waist looks like it's fucking 38 inches. <laughs> 38. Uh, but now you can wear it. Yeah, Are you going to wear it in yeah, Dallas? I rarely wear that shit. No, I think it looks awesome. Yeah. So are you going to rock it in Dallas at uh, the Europa? Probably. I'll probably be leaner. I'll be leaner by that's two more weeks away. I'll lose another right. 15 pounds by then. Shit. Yeah. We're going to be shredded. I might be fucking shirtless in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, guys. It's going to be naked. It trips, be naked. it trips me out so much. Things are so different nowadays. But, like, you go to an expo and there's people that are actually, they're, they're spectators. Like they went to the expo to, to come to the expo for the entertainment value and to check out the booths and so forth, walk around, right? Mm -hmm. Not part of any booth. They're just there. And they're literally walking around with their shirts off. <laughs> like just like basically I right. look so fucking good that I'm going to walk around with my motherfucking shirt off. <laughs> and the crazy thing is that these people are going to booths and the booths have like some of the most amazing athletes out there at the booths, right? Uh -huh. And you're walking around with your fucking shirt off. Like, you're... I mean, the confidence level of that is like, holy shit. Like, you're just... I mean, to think you look good enough to walk around an expo with your shirt off, I mean, right. nobody looks that good. Come on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if Phil Heath was walking around with his shirt off, I'd say, what a fucking idiot. You know, right. I'm just being honest with you. It's just, there's a line where it's like, come on, man. You know, really? Yeah, I don't but get it. It's crazy. But, like, I know back 10, 15 years ago, like, you would never see some shit like that. Right. Know? And it's, it's there's, also, there's actually quite a few people, like, walking around with their shirts off, you know? I know. I don't get it. I mean, I see guys at booths with their shirts off. Yeah, whatever. That makes a little bit of sense, you know? They're ripped. They're shredded. They want to, you know, the company wants them to show off their abs or show off how lean they are, which could possibly be because of the products they take. Uh, right. Not, <laughs> but that's that's the whole marketing is marketing strategy. Yeah, is that the fat burner? You know, got the guys abs like that. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah. But spectators coming right. to watch, wow, that just blows me away. Yeah, it's fucked and up. Women <laughs> out there, like you got to speak up, man. You got to speak up and you know say something. Um, excuse me, but 
I think you should put a shirt on. Right. <laughs> I'd feel a lot more comfortable walking around with you in the expo if you had a tank top on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm just being funny, guys. I'm really not talking shit. I just find it... I, I do find it, it humorous. That it's it, very odd. That, you know, but hey, you know what? I got to give you credit. If you have the balls and the confidence to really walk around with your shirt off and feel that you look that fucking good to walk around shirtless right. at a fitness expo, fuck, man. You, you have more confidence than 99.9% of the people out there. So, <laughs> fuck, that's awesome. You know, when you look at it that way, right? Yeah. There's two size every story there's two ways to look at everything you know there's you know and look at both sides you know one side you can make fun of and the other side you can say fuck you know on the other hand mm-hmm. fuck you know wish i had that confidence <laughs> <laughs> i don't have that confidence honestly i i wouldn't walk around with my shirt off at the expo you know and you know i, I just wouldn't i would never think i look good enough to walk around shirtless <laughs> <laughs> Well, what about you, babe? Would you walk around shirtless? <laughs> <laughs> Highly doubt it. No. So, what am I going to train? That's the question. I'm definitely going to hit calves. That's a given. Right. That doesn't even count. But I'm going to hit calves, and mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Maybe I can pretty much hit anything. I haven't really been. Yeah, I'm pretty open. I think. Yeah. What are you going to hit? Glutes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit uh, and your nearly see through pants, yeah, you're basically not wear anything pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do glutes, and I don't know, <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I know. I sometimes, I, most of the time, I don't know what I'm gonna train, until right? I walk in the gym, <laughs> me too, and then it fucking hits me, boom, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna train that. Like, That's what I'm gonna train, right. Most people, they oh, have a, told... the whole fucking week planned and oh, shit. Fucking program, <laughs> fucking never written down. <laughs> I used to be like that. Oh, I used to be like that too. I think we all used to be like that. Right? We all. Not anymore. Oh, not anymore. Woo, girls jam. Yeah. Fucking spot right up front. Yeah. Our...
this workout North Hollywood. We, we, I should say, I fucking killed arms. Had a great fucking workout. So it's fucking shake time, goddammit. Fucking. The only carbs I get, 40 grams. I will enjoy every fucking gram. so good and I can't really be complaining because I'm still eating ice cream every night and um, hey the shit's working if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> I've done this diet a million times and every time it works like a fucking charm I eat ice cream every night the only complex carbs I have is after the workout the rest all keto and it works like a fucking charm. So, you know, it's something I came up with. It's something that works great with my body. I'm not saying it's going to work for everyone. But for me, it's fucking incredible. And it's easy. Simple. So, anyway, guys, you'll see my body transform uh, quickly. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's an easy diet. You know, I eat, I eat fast food. I can eat ice cream. Fucking drink a shake. You know. No suffering whatsoever. So, anyway, guys, let me enjoy these comics. Show the sky, babe. It's fucking beautiful night. Look at that. It's like an orange bronze, right? Yeah. That's <laughs> like awesome. Awesome, fuck. Perfect night to go home and fucking relax in the jacuzzi. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, uh, maybe we gotta go do that, huh? Yeah. I will finish my shake on the way home. God damn it. Bro. All right, baby, perfect. Yeah. What's up, goddammit? So, we just got done at North Hollywood. We ran down here to film some quick footage for Sarah, actually, goddammit. Tonight was all about Sarah. Woo! <laughs> so, we filmed her uh, doing a little training with one of her girlfriends at the gym. So, uh, I, of course, was the camera guy. And uh, had to return the favor, right? Yeah. Uh, about 3000 <laughs> fucking photo shoots. Right. Or video shoots. <laughs> yeah. So I was returning the favor. So we shot some shot some uh, footage and um, I actually trained a little bit of rear delts really quick while I was waiting for them to get ready in the mirror. I did like 12 minutes of rear delts. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I trained arms earlier today and then came to film her and so I did a little rear delts. Um, all I did was I did the pec deck reverse um, but what I did is I started with 50 pounds for 40 reps and then I did 60 for as many as I could, 70 for as many as I could, 80 nonstop, just ran the rack. And I think I, I got up to like maybe a hundred or 110 and I was only getting like five or six reps, um, cause it was nonstop. And then I went all the way back down uh, to 40 reps. Hold on. What, babe? What? The camera charger is by the desk. Okay. The gym. Well, we'll get it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Do you, do you want to text? What's his no, name? That'll be fine. Okay. Be there. All of a sudden, they hit me. I was just like, <gasps> yeah, no one's going to steal that. It's not a big deal. They better not. Anyway, back yeah. to my motherfucking video. Yes, excuse God me. Damn it. <laughs> so, um, I ran the rack and. I went all the way down to 40 pounds, and I was probably getting, I don't know, I think I got like 12 reps or something. I was, as it lightened, I kept getting a lot of reps. So it was a nonstop set of just burning my rear delts. And then I went and did, um, I did seated cable rows with a close grip, close reverse grip, right? But I pulled it to my chin. So it's a good exercise. Um, when you're sitting upright, it works a lot of rear delts. Now, if you lay back, you know, it works more traps. So, my positioning is 
is not exactly 90 degrees. I lean back a little bit. So I'm hitting a little bit of traps, but mostly rear delts. I would say about 80% rear delts, 20% traps. And um, so I did those basically the same way. I started with 100 pounds and then I went to 120, 140, 160, 180 nonstop, no rest, you know, pyramid, and then pyramid it all the way back. Um, then I went and started doing bent over dumbbell rear laterals with 15 pounds, God damn it, 15 pounds. And, uh, you know, my rear delts were just toast. You went heavy, huh? Weak as fuck. But you know what? They were burning. They're on fire, and that's what it's all about. It's Some, fucking burning them out. Yeah. You know? Sometimes it's, it's good to do just lightweight and just high reps. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, the worst thing you can do, which I've said a million times, is get in that mode of, okay, now I need to rest and get my strength back for my next set, so I can do this much weight. And when you start, you know, when you're when you're gauging your workout all around how much weight you can do and how much weight you're going to do your next set. The worst fucking thing you could do is get caught up in numbers. You're, what people don't understand, most people honestly, is that it's all about fatiguing that muscle as quickly as possible. You know, so, you know, if you go on the bench press and you put 225 on, and let's say you get 20 reps, you rest 10 seconds and you do it again, and you get 16, you rest 20 seconds, you do it again, you get 12, you rest 20 seconds, and you do 10 sets consecutively like that. Or you sit and rest two minutes between sets and work your way all the way up to 405, let's say. You know, what is going to be more productive in developing that muscle um, as far as, you know, a bodybuilder standpoint, as far as trying to make your chest look as amazing as possible or as big as possible? You know, the 225, that's going to be the better option. You know, but the biggest mistake you can make that we all make, we all get caught up in, the question is, how long do you stay caught up in numbers? You know, how long does it take for you to realize that it's not about numbers, it's not about weight? You know, if you're a bodybuilder and you're trying to attain an incredible physique, you know, some of us 10 years, some 15 years, and some of us never come to that realization. You know, you see guys in the gym and they're 60 years old and they go to the bench press, you know, and they do a set and they wait, rest three or four minutes and then they work their way up to their, you know, their 315 and they, you know, get one or two reps and, you know, they feel like, you know, that it was a great workout because they're still hitting 315 at the age of 60, you know, when their chest looks like shit, you know, so, um, you know, that's, this is just, you know, this is just from my experience, my opinion, but, um, you know, it, it took me about 15 years to get past that whole, you know, how much can I bench? you know, mentality. And, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm a bodybuilder. I'm not a powerlifter. So, you know, depending on what you're trying to achieve, what your goals are, if your goals is powerlifting, your goals is being strong, then fuck, you know, then that's, that's the way to train. You know, if your goal is, you know, to look good, to look the best you can, you know, and to have more people asking you how much you can bench because of the way you look, you know, then, you know, that's, that's the way you go. So anyway, I don't know what happened there. I went on a fucking rant about that. But anyway, so <laughs> we are now heading to get some goddamn dinner. Woo. And we had planned on fucking getting the cheesecake, which we have been saying every fucking night. Yeah. And we just don't feel like Cheesecake Factory tonight. No. <laughs> we just don't feel like it. Nope. So uh, we have fucking problems. We're going to the habit again, goddammit. We have, we are addicted to the habit. I don't it's a fucking habit. I don't All know right. the name of the place. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there's something to that. The habit has became a big motherfucking habit for us. Yeah. So it's so fucking good. Oh. So we're going to the habit, goddammit, to get the same motherfucking thing we get every night. Woohoo. You know? But yeah, hey, that's what we're craving, that's what we want and yeah. fuck it. I even told Sarah, I said, if you film a video, fuck, we gotta go somewhere else. You know, just because people are sick of seeing the same fucking shit. And it's like, well, I mean, are we going to eat something we don't want to eat just to fucking have right. a better video? Uh, no. No. Sorry. Sorry, guys. You, got, you just have to, you we're know. We're not going to take it that far. Right. <laughs> so we're, we're still going to enjoy our fucking life to the fullest. And right. get some video content in between. Yeah. You know? And for us, if there's anything on in the world we could eat right now, it would be the habit. So that's mm -hmm. where we're fucking going. You know, 
I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't think there's anything else I'd rather eat right now. I mean, if I was off my diet and I could have anything, I'd probably choose hash hash the go go. Right. Fucking eggs Benedict, chicken fried eggs Benedict. That'd right. probably be my first choice. Right. What about you? Well, pizza. I want the habit for dinner, and I want you for dessert. Oh. Woo. I already know that. That doesn't even need to be said. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that's a good question. I, it's a very hard question. I don't know. Because the habit's so good, you don't really crave anything else, right? Mm, yeah. I don't know what, what, what the other restaurants. No idea. Yeah. But probably pizza or something, I don't know. Yeah. Or pancakes or something. Oh, I don't know. It's a hard. That's a hard one. Yeah. Pancakes don't really do that much for me. It's crazy because people talk about pancakes. Everyone's all about pancakes. Have you Have you tried? I don't know, man. Pancakes. I mean, uh, they're not bad, but they're not like fucking pizza or fucking. You know what I mean? Like they're not. They're nowhere near that level. Have you tried it's just fucking bread with have fucking you, syrup? Have you tried red velvet pancakes with cream cheese frosting? Well, that's that's not even pancakes. That's yeah. a fucking dessert. No, yeah, that's what have a. <laughs> I got it at IHOP. No, I know. Not. I'm just saying that. I don't know if that those qualifies are, as pancakes. Those so that's are, like a dessert. Yeah, those have to die for. I'm talking about people that uh, crave just regular fucking pancakes. Yeah. I was talking to someone the other day, and they're like, they've been they've been on the same low carb. They're copying my diet. Yeah. And they're on the same low carb diet, and they said they that he's like I had to cheat, so I went and I had pancakes at IHOP, you know. And he's like, it was so good. Oh my god, I'm like fucking pancakes at I like regular pancakes is what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Regular pancakes at IHOP. To me, it's fucking... I don't even want it, honestly. Like, right now, if someone had a plate of regular pancakes... Yeah. I wouldn't even want it. I, I don't even... It wouldn't even be good to me. It's fucking... It's just bread with fucking sugary syrup. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I just, it's kind of crazy, but I, I never... I mean, if I put some fucking peanut butter on there... And oh, yeah. And put some fucking bananas in the pancakes... And put some... You know, then... Then it's like, oh, yeah, okay. This, these are fucking good. Yeah. But regular ass pancakes and I hop. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> Total fucking shit. Didn't we go past the exit? Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. I was worried about it. I, I was like pointing. Yeah, because I, I was like, la, la, la. I was just, I'm sitting here thinking about this fucking idiot in the BMW next to us that is, you know, you, you, you're behind them and they're going slow and then you go to pass them and they speed up and it's like a fucking game and it's like, no, I... It doesn't make sense. And then they're like trying to race, and it's like, oh my god, I'm just fucking in a hurry. I'm not trying to fucking race you, you dipshit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a goddamn game when you're driving. Everyone's like, you know. I know, right? Like, Jesus Christ. I'm just fucking, I'm just in a hurry. I'm not trying to fucking race anyone. If I race you, I'll take you to the back street behind the house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Habit, woohoo! I can't believe I used to eat like yogurt land. Fucking yogurt chops? <laughs> you, you eat ice cream and you try to go eat yogurt? Oh my <laughs> god, it's like fucking nice. <laughs> right? Woohoo! I want two. What is this guy doing? He works here. If I want, why? He's taking the trash out. Move, goddammit. <laughs> Look, he's like having trouble taking all this trash out. <laughs> happy that's not you fucking taking the trash out. Right. Oh. Oh. I want to try that sourdough bread one day. Good. Yeah. It's tasty. It's all yeah. buttery. It's all buttery. Yeah. So we've been watching Breaking Bad every night. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Sons of Anarchy. No, we watched that like fucking two nights and that's all. I'm over it. Oh, uh, yeah. Breaking Bad is a shit. Yeah, it's they one are. Of those, you know, you can watch a show over and over again and, you know, you don't remember a lot of the shit that happened. At least I don't. Mm. You know, it's like I forget half the shit I'm watching. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. <laughs> like, I forget. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't remember what's going to happen right now. So it's good. I'm enjoying it as much as the first time. Yeah. Uh, that's what's good about having a fucked up memory disorder is you don't fucking remember shit. So right. 
watch something, you don't remember what happens. <laughs> right. It's like, like I never saw it. <laughs> Hi, Luke Seven, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Can I, for you? Um, can I get two double charburgers? Would you like two and cheese? Uh, yes, please. Meal, lettuce, meat, or pickles, onions? Uh, no onions, no pickles. And can I add bacon? Two double charred with cheese, onions, no pickles, add bacon? Uh-huh. And lettuce wrap? And lettuce wrap, please. Both exact same way, right? Yep. And fries and drinks? Um, no, thank you. And then can I get a double mushroom burger? Okay. Tr uh, lettuce wrap okay. with extra Swiss cheese, extra mushrooms, and also add bacon. Okay. And can I get a Caesar salad with p extra Parmesan cheese, no croutons, and tri-tip? Okay. And medium's fine. Okay. And two large diet sodas. All right, would that complete the order? Uh, yes. So two large diet coke, one Caesar salad, extra Parmesan cheese, no, no croutons, add tri-tip, and add two double charges with cheese, no mayo, I'm sorry, no onions and no pickles with bacon, lettuce wraps, and then one double mushroom burger, uh, extra cheese, lettuce wrap, extra mushrooms, add bacon. Right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ciao, bye. She was in a hurry. I was just like, I was like, wait, wait hold on, I didn't get it. <laughs> I was thinking she was gonna fuck up, she didn't. <laughs> she said it, she said it so fast that I, I couldn't even hear it. <laughs> what the hell is he reach it? His arms too short. Uh, <laughs> going out of the car, like, uh, okay. Wow, that would suck. Does he know how to drive to pull closer to the window? Maybe his window doesn't work. No, it does. It does? Yeah. I think so. I think I saw his hand go through. I think his window's down. Yeah. Yeah. What is he doing? Down. I don't know, but I tell you what. Is he an idiot? In my entire life yeah. of driving through a drive through yeah. I've never ever seen that? No, I mean I've never pulled up and not been able to fucking like pulled up too far from the window. Like that's like a, a dipshit move, isn't it? Like uh, I actually have done that before. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get out of the car. I had to. I had to move it closer. Well, that's okay. At least you moved it closer. Yeah. You didn't get out of the fucking car and walk to the window and walk back to the car. <laughs> that's, that's embarrassing. I'm uh, saying that. I th my mom has done has done that one time really? because she didn't feel like you know moving it closer because <laughs> so she did it. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it seems pretty. It seems pretty hard to not pull up close enough to the window. Yeah. <laughs> like no. Yes. Yeah. So Some really people are. Really some some people are afraid to go too close and like you know fuck something up under the car or something you know. Yeah, those people shouldn't be driving. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. So I got a double charred lettuce wrap. If I pull my money out, what are you doing? And then a double mushroom charred. That's bacon. Lettuce wrap. Pizza salad with rice and two large slices. Does mine have bacon? Thank you. Did she say that? Yeah. Okay. Right I'm just, I'm don't, just. Don't set it on the ground. I'm just triple checking. Yep. Yep. But that doesn't mean it's going to necessarily be on the burger just because she said it. Well, we we gotta check it. <laughs> God damn it. We should, we should we should order bacon on the burger and then order bacon on the side. So yeah. We have two bacon. So if one fails, we have the backup bacon. Can you ask her for extra bacon? <laughs> no, really. Can you ask her for extra bacon? You like, you want more? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can I get her lunch for you today? No, but is it possible that I, 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 um, I get order, she, she wanted to get even another side of bacon. Can I order another side of bacon real quick? Only one side of bacon? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got one side of bacon. Just on the side, please. Yeah. So now they probably won't put the bacon because you're on the side of it. You could sell it to put it also on it. They'll be like, oh, there's no way they wanted two bacons, so let's just give them the side, that's it. No. Can I ask if it's also on it? No. There you go. So no sauce on for you, right? No, no. Thank you. Yeah. It's the, it's the, baby, it is. She already said it. Oh. I told you that. She said it. Like, you're going to ask her after she said it? Yeah. Thank you for waiting. All right. Thank you much. All right. I'm going to check. Go ahead, check it.